Hello, everyone. I'm Nicholas Bejarano. I'm uh, the second trumpet of the American Youth Symphony. I'm just going to run you through a quick warm up and a couple scales and have you guys ready to go. So, we're just going to start with an easy warm up from the Schlossberg Method book. So, what we're going to do is we're basically going to start at G in the staff and go down chromatically, then redo the exercise in C in the staff and C low C below the staff. Um, so, you know, we'll do it together and then that'll get us nice and warmed up uh, to do some scales. So here we go. Remember to always be taking deep breaths from the bottom of your system. So from down here, not from up here and trying to avoid tension and always breathing out very, very relaxed, just the same way you're breathing in. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do two half notes and one whole note for each of these. Make sure to breathe out between each of these, breathe back in. Good, now we're gonna repeat the same exercise starting from C in the, uh, in the staff. Now, it's very important that you try to stay just as relaxed as you just were playing from G down when you start from C. Uh, what we're trying to do is teach our body that between the registers, there's not a lot of difference in the way it should feel or in the way your body should act. Uh, the key to the trumpet is finding the way where everything sounds beautiful and it only sounds beautiful when you and your body are very relaxed. So here we go from C. Good. Now, this next set from low C down, we want to really make sure that we are holding those notes up. The lower we go on the trumpet, the more air it needs to support uh, the lower note. So 
the higher the note, the more we think that it's it's down there somewhere. The 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 lower the note, we think it's up there. So it has weight, and we hold it up. So like this. <laughs> guys so now we're gonna start going through the scales so we're gonna start with a chromatic scale first we're gonna play it in quarter notes and then I'm gonna give you an alternative with a different rhythm so we'll start from low F sharp the lowest point on the B flat trumpet and we're gonna go up to why don't we go up to the F sharp in the staff so we'll go two octaves so here we go in quarter notes. One, two, three. Uh -huh. If you want, you can maybe speed it up and let's play it in 16th notes. So here we go. And when you do this, you really want to focus on smoothing everything out so that there's very few gaps between notes. You're kind of just feeling it like one long breath and you know, you're just putting fingers down. So now let's do a B flat concert. So C on the trumpet scale. Um, so again in quarter notes. do a variation in rhythm. And you can get creative with this. Whatever you want, just as long as you're getting the right positions and you're getting acquainted with all the scales that you need to know. So now let's go to concert F, which is G. That means we have one sharp. F sharp. So here we go. Again in quarter notes. Now for 
an extra challenge, why don't we take that two octaves and let's do it in eighth notes instead of quarters. Very good. Now we're going to do concert C, which is D for us on B flat trumpet. That means we have two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So again in quarter notes. One more time. Good. Now we're going to maybe do it in 16th notes so that we get it all out in one go. Oh, sorry. Here we go. 16th notes. Good. So now we're going to do G concert. That means A on B flat trumpet. That means we're going to have three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. So here we go. We'll do a similar challenge with this one as we did with G, so we're going to take it up two octaves and do it in 16th notes, or 8th notes better. Good, now for the last one, we have concert D that puts us in E for B flat trumpet. So what that means is we're going to have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. That's four sharps. So here we go, again in quarter notes. Good. Now, if you want, we can try that now in eighth notes very good guys so that's it for this time um you know always play with a beautiful sound always be listening to the quality of your attacks and the quality of what you're making even when you're just playing exercises like these uh see you in the next one